Today's video is on the top four foods to improve your brain and mood. If you wanna think sharper and clearer, if you wanna reduce your risk of developing dementia or Alzheimer's disease, if you wanna have a better mood, less anxiety, less depression, and just really be able to thrive in life, you're gonna to wanna to focus on these four foods. Two of them are animal-based foods, two of them are plant-based foods. The first is wild-caught salmon. Salmon are incredible fish. They actually swim upstream. They're the only fish that, I, that I'm aware of that swims upstream and actually can jump up to eight feet out of the water. Isn't that unbelievable? The amount of energy that that fish has to produce to swim against the current and then actually jump eight feet out of the water is remarkable. And the reason why the, the salmon are able to do that is they have incredibly strong, resilient, and a wide number of mitochondria. When we look at your brain, your brain is one of the most dense areas outside of the reproductive organs. It's the most dense area for mitochondria. Mitochondria will produce all the energy in the cells of your body. The healthier the mitochondria are in your brain, the better your mood, the better your ability to think sharply and quickly, and the, the better your creativity is gonna be. And so, what is in wild-caught salmon that gives them this remarkable stress resilience and this ability to produce so much energy? Well, they've got long-chain omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA. They're the richest source of those, and those fats create a lot of fluidity. They keep the environment uh, lower in inflammation, so they reduce inflammation in our body. There's lots of studies that show DHA and EPA, these long-chain fats, reduce inflammation in the brain. On top of that, they really support neurotransmission, so the transmission of, uh, of neurological information. So that's what's in the salmon. And then the salmon, what gives them the pink color is this compound, this powerful antioxidant called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is incredible as far as helping to protect the mitochondria from free radical stress and allowing it to kind of continually recycle itself as it produces energy so it can produce optimal energy. And so the astaxanthin and the long chain omega-3 fats, super powerful, that's what's in the wild caught salmon. My second food, another animal food, is pasture raised eggs. Pasture raised eggs are one of the richest sources of phospholipids. Around all the mitochondria are, they kind of basically have this phospholipid membrane just like all of the cells in our body. We need these phospholipids they actually protect and create hormone sensitivity for all of our cells and our mitochondria. And so eggs are one of the best sources for that. Eggs are also a great source of B vitamins. They've got choline in them. Um, they've got uh, fat soluble vitamin A, retinol, vitamin E, all of our fat soluble nutrients. So tons of good stuff there in the pasture raised eggs, in particular in the yolk. The yolk is the most nutrient dense part of the egg. So wild caught salmon, pasture raised eggs. Number three, this is a plant food, is spirulina. Spirulina is a single cell algae. It's a blue green algae and it's got something called phycocyanin in there. And the phycocyanin is really, really powerful antioxidant. And spirulina is the best natural source of superoxide dismutase. Superoxide dismutase is a powerful intracellular antioxidant that blocks the activity of superoxide free radical. So the superoxide free radical is one of the most damaging things within our mitochondria. So it causes major stress on the mitochondria and causes mitochondrial dysfunction if it's left uncontrolled. A lot of people are not able to produce enough superoxide dismutase on their own because they have certain genetic uh, polymorphisms that don't allow them to produce optimal amounts. So consuming foods like spirulina that really support SOD production helps blunt that superoxide free radical and allows the mitochondria to function better. So spirulina, go ahead, get some of that. I like the Energy Bits brand, energybits.com. We'll have a link below the video. Use the coupon code JOCKERS at checkout to save you, I believe 20% on that order. Spirulina is something I consume every single day, okay? The last but not least, and this will probably be your favorite of all, is gonna be dark chocolate with minimal amount of processing and minimal amount of sugar. Why is chocolate so good? Because chocolate is rich in theobromide. It's also rich in something called PEAs, phenylalanines, which actually help support dopamine and serotonin production. So it's got direct precursors to help support some of these key neurotransmitters. 
when you eat dark chocolate, it actually boosts your endorphins. And so you actually feel good. Endorphins make you feel good, helps optimize your dopamine and your serotonin levels. So you feel good. You can also feel driven as well and um, you know, ready to go out and accomplish your goals. So having a small amount of dark chocolate is really good. If you do too much chocolate, it can overwhelm your system, right? And actually cause more of a, like a dopamine serotonin deficiency where you're more dependent upon it. Some people notice that they get a kind of a, not, not quite as much of a, a, an addiction as sugar, but some people can have somewhat of an addiction to chocolate. So have it in small amounts, right? Without the sugar, and chocolate is also a rich source of magnesium, which is great for the brain, great for helping calm your brain, calm anxiety, calm depression, and allow you to really thrive. So those are our four foods, wild-caught salmon, pasture-raised eggs, spirulina, and dark chocolate without the sugar. If you do those, that's gonna really help support your brain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and go ahead and be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. That way you get notified whenever I put up a new video so you never miss one of these important trainings. Thanks so much for doing that. Thank you for being a part of our community and we'll see you in a future video.